Live from Southwest Florida's Morning News Source, this is Fox 4 News Rising. Thanks so much, Jim. We're here with Patrick Logue from Bark Busters. And of course, we got Jake the Canine sitting here, cool as a cucumber. Jake, very well behaved. But of course, he's got you for a, a master, and that, that's what you do. Well, good day. And good day. Um, well, yeah. Well, first of all, we, you know, we want to make sure that uh, your Jake, uh, our, uh, you know, any dog owner's Jake, is well behaved. Um, and uh, really what, what, Jake, what Jake really wanted me to express today is, you know, proper behavior when you're out and about in public and particularly dog being in parks. dog parks and things it's like that. It's spring, everybody wants to get out, dog beaches. Absolutely. And, you know, with vacations coming up, probably bringing the dog to the beach is, is, is always a great idea to interact. But we want to make sure that the dog is always safe, people are safe, and other dogs are safe. Um, so if you're going to an area where there is a dog park, make sure that uh, when you, as soon as you have the opportunity to take your dog off a leash, um, once the area is secured, um, be sure to go ahead and do that. Um, typically speaking, dogs can get very easily adrenalized if they don't feel as though they have a place to go. Okay. And if they feel threatened. Um, so when your dog, if you have your dog on leash and your dog is meeting some other dogs who are off leash, your dog might not quite act like his normal self because he doesn't have anywhere to run to because he's on the leash. So the dog's actually less stressed, more well-behaved if they're off the leash because they feel the freedom, they can do different things. Right. It's a very, uh, very basic animal instinct in terms of fight or flight. Well, if we have our dog on a tight leash because we're trying to physically control his behavior, well, then the only option left with the dog could be a fighting scenario. Whereas okay. if the dog is off leash, then the dog is free to fight or more likely, run away and play. What if it's a park or an area where you're supposed to keep your dog on leash? Do you have any tips for that? Right. Well, again, we always want to make sure that your dog is under good control, be it on the leash or just with your voice. Um, and uh, really what, what we would recommend from there is make sure that you take the precautions that you need. So um, if your dog, you know, if you need to walk your dog with a harness or any type of specialized equipment, go ahead and bring that. And just understand that if your dog is starting to react in a manner that you don't approve of, probably be a good idea to get the dog out of the situation in that case. Um, right. Just kind of bring it back and have it, well, relax a little <laughs> bit more. Always some good tips, and Bark Buster's website has all sorts of tips about Easter and spring and what you can do with your dogs. We're going to put a link for you up if you head to our website at fox4now.com. Patrick and Jake, thanks as always for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Happy to be here.